What's up, y'all? I don't know if y'all knew or not, but Zasha and I, and this was a while back, we did a Red Table Talk interview. Yes, with like Jada and Willow and, you know, the whole Smith family. It just dropped a couple days ago. So I'm gonna do a reaction, like an honest reaction to it, and also give you some like behind the scenes like tea. You know what I'm saying? Cause some of it, uh, you know, I'll tell you what was real, what was fake, what was kind of like, you know, for the cameras or whatever. I haven't seen it yet at all. Zasha sent me the link to it just now, so I'm about to about to check it out and see uh, <laughs> see what it's like. But yeah, let's get it. I'm not gonna lie to. I be in front of the camera all the time. I was nervous because when they were like setting up the cameras and everything like that, the breakup felt so fresh. I think we recorded that October. It was like before Halloween we recorded that, and it was still so fresh. Like we couldn't really even talk about it without being emotional. I didn't want to say the wrong thing to offend Zasha. I didn't want to say the wrong thing to make any waves or issues, but I do know that I was, that I was nervous. And I know Zasha even, like Zasha was, she was crying a lot, like even before we started rolling. And then they had us like, first of all, it's a whole production. Like, Red Table Talk is a whole production. Like, they had us know we weren't on the actual show. It was more like a Zoom call, but they had the day before people come, rearrange our living room, set up all types of cameras. Actually, I can show you what that looks like right here. So yeah, we're setting up all this equipment, all these cameras, rearranging the living room. They're like, oh, can we hang that picture on the wall? Do you guys own the rights to that picture on the wall? It's just like art from, I don't know, TJ Maxx. And I'm just like, uh, no, I didn't paint the, the vase with the flower. I didn't paint that canvas. Once we get on camera, they have me change my outfit like four times. And they were telling me, okay, no logos and no patterns and no bright colors. So I'm like, no logos, that's cool. I can wear black. Nah, you can't wear black. Okay, well I can wear white. Nah, you white is too bright. So shout out to that, uh, that, that white jacket that I only wore once because Harmony spilled coffee on it. The eight rules of love Jay Shetty says you must know. Honestly, I've only ever watched Red Table Talk once. That was with like the whole entanglement situation. That was the only time I've ever watched it. I didn't even know it was like that big. For real, for real. So they hit us up talking about, oh, we saw your YouTube video, your breakup video, so sorry, but let's capitalize. Went through the whole process about, oh, well, what are you gonna say? And we don't wanna tell you what to say on camera, but we wanna know what you're gonna say so we can approve and tell you what not to say. Sort of. I want us on a TV show. Mm -hmm. Can't really say which one, but it's a big show. Are you serious? Oh, what are you gonna do? I don't know yet. So this is 35 minutes. Definitely not about to watch 35 minutes. I thought we were gonna be on there a lot longer, to be honest with you, for all the prep that they had us do, but, you know. Our next couple is going through a difficult breakup and has a question. Amazing. So Josh and I have been together for five years. First of all, that was recorded the day before. I didn't have much warning. I didn't know we were actually using the clips for the actual show or my hair would have for sure <laughs> not looked like that. But you know, whatever. We have three children together. We're content creators that share our life pretty openly on social media to our hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So needless to say, everyone- I'm not gonna lie, I look really mad. I look really mad. I don't know why, like, because I wasn't even upset. I was actually sad, but I look extremely mad, right? Like, we had broken up recently. And when Josh and I argue, it's an explosion. I am extremely emotional. And sometimes I have to walk away because my emotions get too high. I like to face the situation head on and try my best to come to a resolution. But um, I think we have come to a point where our fighting has caused irreparable damage to our relationship. So. That whole speech took about five tries, five or six. I'm not gonna say there were lines, right? <laughs> but there were definitely bullet points. Oh, and I'm not trying to say they told us to say that either. But it was more so like, what are you guys really going through, right? What are you going through? What are you going through? It was like when you write, like you're in school, right? And you're writing an essay, and then the teacher hovers over your desk, and they're like, oh, do you sure you wanna put that word there? Maybe you wanna da da da, and you know, yeah, you, okay, so I see what you did there, but if you put the, yeah, see, and then it's like, thanks. So, it took me like six or seven times to try that. We're struggling with the breakup. We love each other very much, but I think we both know that staying together isn't the answer. So, 
I guess our question is how do we go about consciously uncoupling? First of all, shout out to Zasha because she got hers in her first try. You know, she did. She, she killed it. But I will say consciously uncoupling is not a word that we knew, that she knew before talking to. But it is essentially what we were trying to ask. They just put words to it to make us, I guess, a little bit more TV ready. Um, no, shout out to Zasha because she, you could tell her to say something one time and she'd be like, all right, I got it. I'm like, yeah, okay. And then she does it and she was laughing at me. Hi guys. Hi. 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 Sorry, I watched the video again and I started crying. I yeah, know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, this is very commendable. This is my best friend. What do you mean? <laughs> That's beautiful. It's really special to see you both supporting each other through this. It's a really mature way of trying to make this better for you both in the future. We want to do that, um, especially because we have three children. We've been listening the, the whole time and all I've been thinking was, where were you guys a month ago? Right. <laughs> you know, you, I'm not gonna lie, it's facts, bro. Like, y'all gotta watch the whole thing. I wasn't gonna sit here and watch, like, rewatch the first 30 minutes because we had to sit on a Zoom call for two hours before we actually like this. So we're seeing everything and I'm like, you got all these answers on how to make a relationship work, right? Where were you? Where were you? If you got all these answers, where, where were you, bro? That was that. Cause I'm thinking like, dang, you know, should we try, should we try this? You know, should we try to do the, the second ashram or whatever it was called? Should we, you know, is it a little too late? Like, you guys are amazing and um, I've learned a lot already. Thank you, thank you so much. And I really appreciate you bringing out that term, conscious uncoupling, because yeah, that was a coincidence. Yeah. Shout out to Jay Shetty, man. Shout out to the Red Table Talk. Willow, you remind me of my sister. Just seeing us so much, like, it's crazy. It puts you in a great position of strength yes. for your kids. The biggest thing is setting boundaries of what you physically and emotionally can and can't do with each other anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I look like a dick, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I really look like a dick, bro. I look like I don't care. I look mad. I don't know why, like, my face just, like, it just does that. They're, they're, they're clever. They go to Zasha when she's, like, wiping the tears and stuff, of course, you know? Go to Zasha. And then it cuts to me, and I'm just like... I guess I do that to hide, like... I don't know, like, that maybe it's a masculine thing. But it's easier to show, like, anger than to show, like, oh, I'm crying or something. Now you're separating yourselves, and the biggest mistake we make is in separating, we either try and cut everything mm -hmm. or we keep things too blurry. Yeah. Right? So we either say, like, this is the end of everything, we're never going to talk to each other again, we're never going <laughs> to call each other ever again. Right. Or the other is, oh, we'll just see how it goes and we'll figure it out, and then that becomes really unhealthy because feelings and emotions creep back. So I would love for you both to look at the areas of your life where you still go across the physical, emotional, financial, I'm guessing as well, and spiritual, and sit down and genuinely communicate your personal boundaries. So do this separately, don't do this together. Mm -hmm. And you write down, this is where I'm at financially. This is where I'm at mentally. This is where I'm at emotionally. And then you're going to come back and share those same points with each other from those same areas and give each other that space to hear where that person's boundary is and make a commitment to respect that boundary. Because you usually said it yourself, you're like, we're best friends. Exactly. And if we're best friends with someone, then we wanna respect their boundaries and have them respect ours. And remember, boundaries aren't to keep someone else out. They're to make sure you don't cross that boundary too. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, for me and Zasha, it's hard to not be like all or nothing. We are like best friends, so it's hard to be like, oh, we can just casually have conversation. Now nah, it's like, if she even hops on FaceTime to talk to the kids for a second while they're with me, like, we either gotta be like strangers and it's like, all right, here are the kids. Okay, bye. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like, we're literally like laughing on the phone and like chopping it up and it's kind of like, and then it starts to feel like, oh, we are overdoing, like, I don't know if any of this makes sense, man. Like, I really don't, but it's almost like we, consciously have to be like nah we can't get too close because that leads to the relationship and then that leads to us back to where we were you know what i'm saying but it's hard to just maintain like a oh hey what's up how's it going because i might crack a joke and she starts laughing and her laugh makes me laugh and then we're just like it's all you know what i mean i probably makes no sense i promise you if you do that with the love you have you can consciously uncouple and and do this in a respectful and shout out to willow's hat admirable way that you'll both be proud of and your kids will be proud of. Mm -hmm. We accept your challenge. 
<laughs> look, look, when he mentions kids, when he says kids, look at my face. Watch this. Watch, watch, watch. You can consciously uncouple and, and do this in a respectful, admirable way that you'll both be proud of and your kids will be proud of. Mm -hmm. We accept your challenge. Like, bro, this match my kids, bro. <laughs> I love that attitude. Yeah. It is a challenge. It's not easy, but you've already done the hardest part. Thank so. you so much for that. They're wishing the two of you the best. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I get the sense that they're not done. Oh! <laughs> oh bro, what? Yo, Mama Pinkett Smith. Like, what? Mama Pinkett Smith. Like, you gotta chill. <laughs> so, what's funny is they had disconnected us right after that part. So, we still heard, I have a sense that they're not done. I was recording off of this camera, and me and Zasha had a great conversation. The memory card just disappeared out of that, out of the camera, like, a couple days later. <sighs> I'm st actually still upset about it because it was actually a great little conversation that her and I had, especially after this. So I'm sorry that that footage is just gone. The whole memory card was just gone. But anyway, as far as the future, like, I don't know what the future holds, man. It was very interesting seeing her say that. Like, you've met us for about five minutes and you felt that. And honestly, I didn't even say too much. I said, like... 10 words max. I probably should have said more, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was dope to hear her say that. Yeah, I, I got that too. And that's yeah. okay too. But I've also seen people who consciously uncouple uh -huh. and are the best of friends. Yeah. yeah. Are, Wait, hold on. Did they, who who all agree that they're with not done. Yeah, I, I got that too. And that's so okay. Jay Shetty also got that? I didn't hear him say that. Yo, Zasha, like... I didn't realize Jay had also said that because, you know, he's like a spiritual guru guy. Or I don't know if that's what he calls himself, but spiritual guru guy. That's, that's what he is. Okay, too. But I've also seen people who consciously uncouple. Uh -huh. and <laughs> She's like, listen, I hear you, mama. I, I hear you, Jay. But let's be real. There's people that can just break up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could just break up and that's it. It happens all the time. So that's cool what y'all saying, but let's be real. Niggas die every day, B. Kind of, sort of. And are the best of friends. Yeah. yeah. Are better in that form. So it's all about just finding the form that yeah. works for you. So we have Ashram 4. This is perfecting this love. This is perfecting yeah. love. love. Yes. And the reason why I put... So, like, everything else doesn't really apply to us. So, like I said, shout out to them. Go check out the whole thing. A lot of these ashrams, because essentially there's, like, different ashrams, which could just be different chapters, and each section they had somebody come in that are going through what that ashram is and speak on it. And every other one is essentially positive, and it's great, for the most part, except ours. Ours is, like, the, well, whenever you break up and you tried everything and y'all suck at the relationship, Here's how you just move on consciously uncouple. So that was us, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually felt like a failure. Damn, saying that my voice kind of cracked a little bit. I don't really feel that way too often, but uh, no, seriously, it felt like we were failures. Like, even whenever I was making the video and we we're talking to you guys about everything, never really felt like a failure per se. I felt like we owed it, I owed it to you guys to talk to you about it. Because if I'm going to show you all of the positives, all of the great things we've accomplished, all the accolades, if you're going to see my kids grow up in front of a camera, I think you deserve, you guys done everything for us. I felt like you deserved to see everything. You know, you you deserve to know. You deserved more than just, all right, you know, hey, we're splitting up the channels and, you know, go, da da da, subscribe to me for this and subscribe to me for that. Like, but after doing this and talking to them, I don't know, there was just this feeling. And it was one of the things that I talked, I was talking to um, Zasha in the that footage. Um, I was like, man, I feel like a failure. I feel like we failed, you know? I don't know. But anyway, uh, a huge thank you to uh, Jada, to Willow, to the whole production team over there, um, Facebook, you know. You guys were extremely professional. I wouldn't say that the experience was seamless or easy, but, <laughs> you know, if you got a spare 30 minutes, go check it out. That's that. I know Zasha did a reaction video as well, so go check hers out. I haven't watched it because it's hard for me to see her get emotional, and I don't know if she did or she didn't. Go check hers out. Either way. Guys, I love you. Let me know what other type of content you want. Got my boy Zay the Kid down, downstairs. He's playing the game and all that. You said what? Bro, I'm talking to the people. I'm not talking to you. You just said Zay the Kid. Yeah, I said I got Zay the Kid downstairs. Oh. 
Okay. But I'm talking to them. You know, I was, uh, I wasn't even gonna mess with him today. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna prank him or nothing like I that. I can hear you. What did I say? I wasn't even gonna mess with him today. Yeah. Uh huh. Zeta kid sucks at Fortnite, for real. Yeah, but you ain't hear that though. Yes, I did. I just, I, I'm letting you speak. Anyway, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. You already know what time it is. Gang, 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 gang. I'm out.